you have a feeling that you want to write. You have a feeling that there's something in you that you want to write. It's very important that you allow the unconscious or the well or whatever it is that produces this stuff, it has to be allowed the time necessary to ferment the material that it wants to put onto the page. So you mustn't rush things. It's very important to allow oneself to dream and to noodle and on your cinema screen in the head to run various scenarios with your characters and to try things out before you commit yourself to actually writing something down or typing something out. Hemingway used to talk about not writing until he felt juiced up. In other words, not writing until he felt the reservoir was full. There's an instinctual aspect to all of this um, that you, you accumulate these ideas. It's like a cluster. You, you think of something. And so it's almost like you meditate on this as you're writing and then it accumulates and gets richer and deeper. And that's a sign that you're on the right track. It'll be a bit sort of fuzzy, your first draft. But before we get to the first draft, we're trying to get something inside, outside. The danger is that you will be so inhibited because you think, well, I don't really know where this is going. Well, you know, and I know there are some writers who always know where, 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 where things are going. And, and sometimes you think you know where it's going, but by the time you're getting there, you're thinking, no, that's not actually what I meant at all. And, and you find yourself swerving away from that. Um, and sometimes that's because you figure if, if you know where it's going, there's a chance the reader will know as well. It can be fun to try and keep yourself in suspense as long as possible while you build these characters, wondering which of them might be, uh, be capable of such, a, of such a, an act. I have the idea for the next book halfway through the book I'm writing. And, you know, I think that's very, I think it's quite, it, that's quite telling because I think when you're working very creatively, your mind is buzzing, 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 and then an idea just comes up. And it's so far, that, that's what's worked for me. The book that I have coming out this summer, I actually woke up in the middle of the night with that idea and I wrote it down. I always have a pen and paper beside my bed because you might think you remember, but you might not. So I often actually um, come up with ideas in the middle of the night, but it tends to be when I'm at my, at my most creative, another idea comes up, you know, and that's what they say. There's no point sitting around waiting for inspiration. It only comes when you're working.